Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. If you're wondering what this is, it's actually a strap on hot water bottle. This is because I woke up with the worst tummy ache ever. And I have a theory as to why. So basically what I think it is, is I think my body just does not agree with cauliflower. Now I have a few reasons why I think this. And it's mainly down to past experiences with cauliflower. So when I was pregnant, I remember I had this pasta and I was like, I need some vegetables with it. So I just whacked a load of cauliflower in there. Bit of a strange combination, but anyway. I whacked a load of cauliflower in there and then I think it was either that night or the next day I was in agony, like doubled over in pain. Couldn't really work out why. And then a couple of months ago when I went to the pub with my friends in the summer, I had some of those like cauliflower bites. They're like the equivalent to vegan chicken, I think. A lot of pubs will do them. Um, and I had some of those and I had the same pain. And then yesterday, well, last night, as you guys know, I made me and Charlie a roast dinner. Well, basically a roast dinner. And I had cauliflower, which I never ever have on a roast dinner, but I just bought it in that little pack that I showed you with the broccoli. And oh my God, this morning I had this pain all up my right side, all down my lower stomach, going like down my leg. It was horrific. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. It does seem a little bit better now. I've taken some paracetamol and I got my hot water bottle. I had some breakfast as well, which I was very reluctant to have. My voice is going and I have no idea why. I was very reluctant to have um, just because of how I was feeling. I'm pretty sure I'm over the worst of it because it does seem to be getting better. Alfie had a horrific night to say the least. So he woke up at like 11 o'clock. So me and Charlie had gone to sleep fairly early, like half nine, 10, which is our normal sort of bedtime. And Alfie woke up at 11 o'clock screaming his head off. Couldn't figure out why. So I took him into my mum's room because that was literally like the only place that I could go. I couldn't really go downstairs because my dad was down there and didn't know whether he was asleep. So I took him into my mum's room. When the light was on, you could see that his cheeks were quite red. His temperature was fine, but his cheeks were quite red. So we kind of put it down to teething. But in the night he's been a little bit snotty and he's been a little bit snotty this morning. So I'm thinking he may have picked something else up. Are we shocked? No. I just, I just cannot get over how constant illnesses are with children and babies. It is literally like three weeks of illness, one week break, three weeks of illness, one week break. It has been like that for months, literally months. I know they're building their immune system, but it's like, oh, what else can you actually get? Just made myself an almond milk coffee. If you have almond milk and you've been using sweetened almond milk, try unsweetened. It is such a game changer. Of course, I have to have it in a Christmas tree mug from B&M because I am not having a hot drink in any other mug apart from Christmas mugs. I'm sorry, but it's pretty much illegal in December. I don't know whether you can see, but doesn't it look like, does it look like I'm pregnant? I'm not, it's a hot water bottle, but I feel like this is how I used to feel when I used to have my dressing gown over my bump. I used to feel like a walking, waddling thing. I was going through mine and my mum's chat on Facebook yesterday. I can't remember why. No, it was the other, it was the other day, a couple of days ago. You'd sent me a load of photos of me while I was in labor and I was sat in, in my living room next door and I was sat on the sofa with my dressing gown but it was like the fluff, my big fluffy one which is actually wrapped around Alfie while he's asleep right now which is why I don't have it on and I'm sat there like literally like this just staring because I'm in so much pain you can see that I'm like dying inside but my mum was trying to get pictures to like save the memories of me in labour and oh my god I was just I was laughing at him because they are so funny I'll see if I can find it and put it up on here but it's hilarious it's like the look on my face oh my god it's actually such a shame because I really wanted to do something like nice and Christmassy today maybe go somewhere because I feel like for me Thursdays are the day that I will like do something with Alfie 
like I will always just go out with him on my own take him somewhere for lunch usually McDonald's <laughs> but after what happened with Jackie if you know you know I very highly doubt I will be venturing out to McDonald's anytime soon because it's kind of ruined my life but yeah on a Thursday I will normally do something with Alfie but because he's not particularly well, I'm not particularly well. <sighs> again, again, let me add. Charlie, last night I said, oh yeah, when I was ill and he was like, which time? You're always ill. And I was like, I know, but it's because I have a child that picks up everything under the sun and more often than not, passes it on to me. Um, But yeah, what was I saying? I was saying I usually would go out with Alfie, but you know, we're not, neither of us are really in the right state to. I may take him on like a little walk later because I feel better to be honest, like I feel like I don't even really need the top wobble but I'm gonna keep it on me just in case it does start to get worse again. But yeah, I just, I worry about him more than anything. I think he'll be fine in the pushchair but I don't wanna take him like what I would normally do. And I literally said, my village there. I take him into the village next to me because I just, I don't wanna go that far and then him get annoyed or like my stomach's not hurting or I don't know so just a shame but it's fine we've got the whole of December to do some really really nice things and I do have a couple of nice things planned so I will definitely be taking you along with me for those we have a very cute little boy today his little elf top and his gingerbread man socks and some random bottoms but my mum had actually put on a um what's it called a jumper and <laughs> It wasn't Christmassy and I was like, no, thank you. Look at how bad the heat rash is on my stomach where I've had that hot water bottle on it. So this is what I've ended up with for lunch. I basically just made a load of tofu. Got some avocado and sriracha as well. You know those days where your child is just not happy no matter what? It's one of those. Um, and I'm not blaming him, obviously, but it's it makes it so difficult because no matter what you do, they just, they're not happy. So... It's like, what am I supposed to do? I don't, I don't know. No, like rule book, but what are you supposed to do when your child is just not happy doing anything? Baby boy, all nice and tucked up, apart from this foot that keeps popping out. I could put on some gloves on him, but he will literally just rip them off and not be happy, so there's no point. We're just gonna go on a quick walk. I realized, I was like, oh yeah, I'll take him around like three, four o'clock. And then I was like, wait, it's gonna be like pitch black at four o'clock. So I'm, um, I'm gonna be going now instead. It's my favorite little bench. Alfie's finally asleep, thank God. Oh my God, did he put up a fuss. He was literally screaming along the road, like proper full on tears and everything. He was so tired. So I'm literally there like with the pram, shaking it up and down because that's the only way I can get him to settle. There's something on Amazon or something called like a ro rocket. I could be completely butchering the same and I probably am, but it's like a, a rocker for your prep <laughs> sorry it's like a rocker for your pram um and it does it automatically without you having to do anything and i really really wish that i bought one i really do i could probably still get one now to be honest but i wish i bought one when he was newborn because it just seems so convenient you don't even have to rock anything and that is like the way that alfie falls asleep is by like vigorous rocking <laughs> I will show you what I got from Asda. So I'm absolutely desperate to make some vegan ramen later. I've been meaning to do it for the last few days. So I thought I'd buy the bits for that. I mean, I've already got the uh, noodles for it. But I bought some spring onions for that, some mushrooms, some vegan stock. It says you want good quality ones. So these were like quite expensive for stock foods. Some bean sprouts. And then I bought this basket for charlie's hamper because i was thinking it looked like a good size but now i'm thinking it might be a bit small but even if it is too small then i'll just use it for something else but yeah well, i just picked that up because i don't know how much it was it didn't have a label but i was just like well i may not end up getting one and then you know bought these two bits of chocolate to go in the hamper bought alfie some biscotti i also bought him some tuna and then i bought myself a chocolate milkshake i don't know what made me want a chocolate milkshake so much but actually no i didn't even want a chocolate one i wanted a um strawberry one but the only one they had was this one it was the only one left so i was like obviously 
I'm gonna snap that up. It's a sign. Alfie's dinner's cooled down. As you can see, there's loads of steam coming off it at the moment, but I've just been like getting little bits, putting it next to my mouth and blowing it and then giving it to him because he's just so impatient and he's currently munching on a carrot, aren't you? I'm <laughs> Yeah, exactly that. I don't really know what to tell you about this milkshake. It tastes a little bit weird, you know? I don't know what it tastes like. It says it's made with coconut milk, but I cannot figure out what it tastes like. It just tastes a little bit weird. <laughs> I just put the plate down and it made a really weird noise and it made him laugh. Oh, bless him. Looking at that like it's the devil. No? So I bought everyone's card ages ago now for Christmas. Well, I actually filmed it. It was when I went and did my charity shop haul that day. Sorry if you can see me in the mirror as well. I literally can't do anything about it. If I put the tripod on the floor, he is going to pick it up. So I have to put it on the bed. And my vision was to like write my bit and then basically hold Alfie's hand and get him to write. Obviously not him write, but me hold his hand while he's doing it. So it's like almost from him. But in hindsight, <laughs> not too sure that's going to work. I even bought him his own card. As it, like, am I really that stupid? You're not going to be able to read this. <laughs> I'll read it to him. It'll make me feel better. I just want to keep it for sentimental value. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Ready? You have to write. Hold it. Yeah. No. Okay. I don't know what I expected. I'm actually stupid. Two. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. Shh. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, but how unreal. I just had the nicest shower. I really need to end this vlog in a minute because I barely even edited this video and it's got to go up tomorrow. And I've got a really, really busy day tomorrow. I need to try and put you down somewhere where the light's not going to flash. I don't know why it does it sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. It's not doing it now, is it? Is it doing it now? Okay, I don't think it's flashing. I'm really sorry if it is flashing. It's really annoying. But yeah, tomorrow I have a really exciting day. I am going to... Sorry if I keep looking back. I'm looking at the monitor because Albie's asleep. I am going to view a flat. Charlie is not coming because he is at work. So I'm going to go with my mum. I'm going to drive and obviously my mum's going to come with me because I can't drive without her um, and Alfie. And then if Alfie's asleep, I'll just go in and view it by myself. If Alfie, I'm going to just get the monitor. It's making me panic because I can't see him. Right, he's in front of me now. Um, so if Alfie's asleep, I will just go in and view it myself and if he's awake then me, my mum and Alfie will go in and view it and I've got permission from Charlie, um, you know, if I fall in love with it to put in an offer so oh, please pray, pray because I am so, so desperate to move out so desperate i would do just about anything right now then on saturday so tomorrow night i was supposed to be going out out yeah you heard me right out out can you believe those words are coming out of my mouth i haven't stepped foot in a club or anywhere like that for about three years i think the closest time i can think of that i went to somewhere like that was this place called the station but it's kind of like it's open till like 3 a.m. But I wouldn't really call it a club. It's more like in between a club and a bar. And I went when I was pregnant with Elvie, but obviously I didn't know that I was pregnant with him. Um, otherwise I would never have gone. But I went when I was pregnant with Elfie. So he was probably just sat there like a little tadpole inside me, throwing back liters and liters of Prosecco and cocktails. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so the last time I did that was like, when was I pregnant with Alfie? Like, so that must have been June 2021. Um, but other than that, which again, I wouldn't really call a club. I haven't been like clubbing for that long. So we're not going like straight to a club. I think we're just gonna go to a pub, a few of like me and a few of my friends and take it from there because I know what I'm like. I just know what I'm like. And I feel like 
we're gonna get to this club and I'm gonna be there like crying, like get me to Alfie. My mum's looking after Alfie by the way, literally all night. So even when I get back, I will not be in the care of him because I don't know how much I'm gonna drink yet. But yeah, we were supposed to do it tomorrow night, which would be Friday night, but my friend, ended up getting put on her work schedule on Saturday and she didn't want to go and hang over so we've now changed it to Saturday night which is fine the only issue is that on a Friday if we would have done it on a Friday Alfie's dad would have him on the Saturday so I wouldn't have to look after him but Alfie's dad doesn't have him on the Saturday on the Sunday sorry so I'm gonna have to look after him hung over which is fine it's my fault regardless and Obviously my mum's going to be around and Charlie's going to be around and everything so I'll be able to have help but I just don't, I don't know how I'm going to be because I haven't gone out out like that for so so long so I don't know how my body's going to react to it but it'll be fine. But yeah the next couple of days I kind of need to do like a little glow up sesh. I've just got in the shower, exfoliated and shaved everywhere and then I'll put some tan on tomorrow like ready for the weekend anyway. But yeah I'm, I'm nervous but I'm really excited because... I'm gonna be going with my friends, so it'll be really, really nice to spend some time with them and just kind of go out and let my hair down for the first time properly since being a mum. I think it was like July, last July, maybe it was August, I don't know, last summer anyway, like the summer just gone, I went to the pub with my friends. Oh no, I think it was August, yeah, it was August, it was like the end of August. I went to the pub with my friends for my friend's birthday and everyone was going out that I was sat with and I was the only one that wasn't and I was this close this close to just being like fuck it I'll go out and ask my mum to look after Alfie and I was like oh I'll see how I feel when I get home and then I got home and I got into bed and I was like no I can't do it but he was a bit younger then he has since been able to feed from a bottle really really well i wasn't really too sure then um like his dad would do it but my mum had never done it really and so yeah it was a bit of a more of a worry back then but now he's you know almost 10 months old i need to get him used to also being without me sometimes because when he starts staying at his dad's i don't know when that is going to be by the way so don't ask me because i literally have no clue um but when he does start staying at his dad's in the foreseeable future you know i won't be there so i need to be used to being away from him and he needs to used to be like you get what i mean i can't i can't finish the sentence I'm mumbling and dragging it on now but yeah we need to get used to being apart sometimes and what better way to do that than to go out and have a night with my friends for the first time in years. I mean, I've obviously had nights out like at the pub and um, little bits like here and there, but I've always had to come home at like latest half nine to get in the bed, get into bed and, you know, look after Alfie in the night and feed him and not get too drunk and stuff like that. So this is like my first opportunity to actually do what I want, I suppose, which is really weird. But anyway, I am mumbling on, mumbling, rambling on. I am gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna get into bed, finish editing the rest of this vlog and get it exported and try and schedule it for tomorrow for 12 o'clock. So you will be seeing this on Friday, if you watch it when it's uploaded. Um, so yeah i will see you on saturday and hopefully i will be able to vlog some content of me being out with my friends and stuff for sunday's vlog because i think maybe you might see a bit of a different side to me you never know but anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next vlog bye